everyone it is monday it is weekly planner day and we have this um picture from secret garden um by johanna basford and i just thought i would grab my chroma flow pencils and have a go with those um i used them very briefly yesterday and they were all nice and sharp so uh, i decided that was good although looking at them now maybe they're not quite so sharp as i thought but anyway i've got a few ideas so actually yeah let's take the layers apart i usually put one in the lid and keep one in the bottom okay now my idea for this page has quite a lot going on so i want to make it more coherent to keep it a limited color palette so what i decided to do was that these large um these flowers here with the singular petals there's quite a few across the page i'm going to do in orange and the any other flowers these i'm going to do in purple and then I'm going to use a bluey green shade for the leaves, just the same ones. Keep it really simple and hopefully it will be okay. And then I'm not sure about background. I might just do leave it white. It might work better or we might splodge some pastel about. We'll see. So I just thought I would make a start. We'll zoom in because obviously there's a lot of detail going on. I should just zoom and zoom and zoom and see how far in we can go. Wow, very far in. Okay, and we'll just take this one here and we'll go for it. So in the Chroma Flow set, the pencils are numbered. So this one is called Flame and it's number four. So that's what we're going to start. Let's just push that up a little bit. And um, my idea is to do a little bit darker in the middle because we've got this line. And um, it's right next to the black. And then a bit lighter towards the end. And what we'll do is we'll use a different colour for the end of each petal, just to uh, to vary it up a little bit. So it's going to be more intense, the orange in the centre. Oh, try not to get it on the leaves, don't worry too much if you do, it's not the end of the world. So let's keep colouring to the ends, but putting more layers near the middle. So uh, I hope you're all well and happy Mondays can be a little bit fraught for some people, back to work for some. So I hope everyone's okay and they've had a good weekend. Um, it isn't actually Monday today when I'm recording this. So uh, I don't always record on Mondays, it just depends quite what's going on. You can see that this one is quite faded. This one isn't. I've been very inconsistent in my colouring. So what I'm going to do is just go back through and just darken those central parts a little bit because that's the bit that I want to really concentrate on being dark. There we go. And to do the ends and to sort of blend it together, I can use this colour. This is a sort of slightly orangey yellow. Sorry, it's a bit blurred there. This is called Amber Gold. It's a nice name, isn't it? It's number two. So I'm just going to... What I'm going to do is start the end and uh, work it down, fade it down to sort of mix them together. They mix really nicely, these uh, Chroma Flow. I find they are quite soft. They're quite nice. They're softer than... Some of the Derwents are quite hard. The um, Derwent, I think it's Artists and... There's another set that's quite hard that they do, I can't remember. But um, they're colour softer, softer. And these seem to be a little bit harder than the colour soft, but still, so they keep their point quite well. But they still blend well, they're vibrant. The only thing I find with all Derwents is they can be a bit breaky in the pencil sharpener, which uh, isn't, uh, isn't ideal but they do recommend that you use their own pencil sharpener their own brand and uh, apparently that helps I do have one of their own brand which actually I don't always use it's just because it's a rotary one it eats away a lot of pencil and it makes you a bit frightened um, if you've got one you'll know what I mean okay so that flower if I zoom back out a little um, I'm gonna do all the other flowers like this one and this one that look like this 
in that exact way so I don't need to demo that all for you but that's what I'm going to do and we're going to mix it with some purple and I shall show you on this flower we'll zoom in a little bit again there we go um so um I shall oh my son's just telling me he's lost his phone charger in a bit but he's probably lost it at college so I'm going to go for quite a dark purple I think it goes really well with the orange this is violet it's really blunt I'm going to sharpen it I'm just going to use the Stedler sharpener because I happen to have it on hand the rotary Derwent sharpener is really noisy so I don't tend to use it when I'm making videos because it's a bit grindy right that's a better look I hope that's not going to break on me so for this one we've got these little dots which are the seeds so our flower actually starts here the petals start here around the central point so i'm going to make that bit darker this lead's really wobbly hopefully it'll be okay i'm being gentle with it ideally you don't want it being like this now i'm not sure what to do with the center here some of the um flowers that are this shape such as that one the, the center is colored in black and I'm wondering whether to just do that on this one as well so they will match so I'm taking this purple but not all the way to the edge I'm trying to fade it it's called violet actually I didn't show you did I it's number 11 sorry it's number 11 violet and I'm going to use a slightly lighter color on the very edge so I'm just trying to fade that down as we go towards the end of the petal. Now with the green, I'm already thinking way ahead, um, there's only one bluey green in this set. There's a sort of bluey green, a mid green and an olivey green. It's more of a yellowy green. So I think we're just going to use the one green because if we try and mix it, we won't get the right shade. Um, we could mix it with blue to get a bluey green shade, but I think I'm just going to use the one pencil. I think it'll be a little bit easier. And uh, we won't do too much fancy, fancy stuff with it. Okay, so there is a rough start. So I'm going to use the... I have this a lilac, which I'm going to use for the ends. Again, it needs a sharp and it's very blunt. I said I thought these were sharp. Obviously, everything's sharp except the ones that I need to use today. So I'm going to go in at the end and take the colour down the petal. And just basically fill in those gaps. It's actually quite dark, this colour. I don't know if you're really going to see that there's two colours here. Yeah, hopefully you'll see a little bit of a difference. I want it quite vibrant, especially if we're going to leave the background white. Now, with um, orange, a, a black background is nice, but we've got so much black going on in the here, and I'm going to put black in here, I'll show you, into the centre. Um, we have a black, here he is, he's number 23, black, oh, I don't know how well that shows up, this sort of um, um, metallic print on pencils, it's not ideal for YouTubers, they really need to think, keep us in mind when they're designing their colours, don't you think, you just can't see them, so I'm trying to make it a little lighter in the middle, now I'm looking carefully at that and I can see that along here, because I've just changed my head position, I can see that I'm just going back in with my violet because I haven't gone all the way up to the edge of the seeds there. I'm contemplating whether to leave those white. And my answer is no, because I look across here and these seeds look are against the background which we're thinking of leaving white, so I can't leave them white. Um, what should we do? Um, having a think. Could make them a completely different colour, like yellow, could do them grey, we could do them blue. 
Um, oh dear, what a hard decision it is today. Um, I could do them black, and I think, yeah, black. That's what I'm going to do. Do them black. I hear, oh, I can hear the dust, the dust men, men, sexist, isn't it? Refuse collectors, I guess is what we should be saying. Because actually it's usually a lady out there collecting the food waste. You can't really see it now. My plan is to maybe put a few white dots in the middle. Um, let's go for green. Now I can see that this isn't very well blended either. So I'm going to go back in with my dark purple on the bottom of each petal. Darken that up. I'm finding it quite hard to see. The light is really bad in here this morning. It's a winter day. It's uh, quite dark. I've just turned some of the lights out because the sun came in and now it's not coming in. And, you know, English weather. Right, so I'm just going back in with my lilac and just trying to make it look a little bit tidier really you don't have to cover all the white paper but if you're not consistent it can look a bit messy now that'll do i also find because i have to have my head quite far away from the page when i'm recording it's because uh, normally I would have my head so close. I could put it a little bit closer, but the um, tripod gets in the way. But you don't want to see a recording of my hair. Um, so, lastly, leaves. That's right. I just got distracted by a message. I was really oddly. This is called basil, and this is the green that I'm going to use. Oddly, I was um, reading earlier. Uh, there's a podcast I was. Um, had seen an advert for and it said our retention span is getting very bad and uh, it said that teenagers have an attention span of about 65 seconds and uh, even office managers about three minutes I was like my goodness that's awful um, so what I'm doing here is I'm just making it darker to lighter I like that effect and as I say we don't have another green um, so I think this will just work. Um, and then I was talking to you and I was suddenly distracted by a message that popped up on my screen. Um, it was my sister. She runs a vegan shop in um, Shrewsbury in the UK, obviously. Um, and uh, she's, um, I think, from her message, which I haven't properly looked at, um, she put out a press release about um, an event she's running in the shop and uh, it's been printed in her local paper so she's really happy about that because um, she's struggling to get people into the shop January is a difficult time anyway to get people out shopping people don't always have a lot of money um, at this time of year just try and make that blend that as even as you can it's not easy and I'm just gonna with these got some black on here as well. I'm just going to do them a little bit more solid because we've got these black ones. And also they're small. Um, so she's got running some pop-up shops within her shop. And uh, the paper has printed it for her, which should help her get a little bit more trade. Um, I think she's in her shopping centre, which isn't in the main shopping street. So it's a little bit more tricky, she doesn't get passing trade. So she has to work hard on advertising and she she doesn't like doing that. She wants to just be in the shop chatting to customers, serving customers, selling things, but obviously um, the marketing is all part of it. So she's trying all sorts of different things. So uh, there we go. Right, that's that now i'm just looking on the page to see if there's anything else that i need to go through with you before i disappear off and finish it off there are a few art elements there are the ants these are going to be black i just want to match it in with this one and there's a couple over here as well let me zoom out um here look i'm just going to make them black um we have down here some little dots I think 
I will leave them till last and I will either do them purple or green it depends I think it can be purple because around them if you look we've got orange 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 there is a purple one there orange orange lots of orange bits going on and leaves it goes on top of the leaves so probably do them purple and just a solid purple circle but I am going to go in after with my white pen and do a few dots and highlights here and there the only other thing we have is this ladybird now ladybirds in the UK are mainly red with black dots and that's what I want to do we've got another ladybird further up I think oh excuse me I think because this is a repeating pattern so I'm going to do my ladybirds red I shall show you we have a scarlet here Oops. and that's what I'm going to do I'm just going to cover the whole thing in scarlet it's really really simple and do uh, Hear a lot of noise. Oh, my neighbour's putting the bins away. That's kind of him. I need to read my meters before the bins cover them up again. I shall pop out and do that now. I'm going to leave that and uh, leave that now. Um, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to finish it and I shall share a photo of the finished picture. If I decide it needs a background, I'll come back on and do one. But actually, I don't think it will so we'll see but there we go so that's me and um, I hope that's just got you started and uh, thank you very much for watching enjoy coloring your planner page have a lovely Monday and happy coloring